Hello, welcome to today's tutorial on Python. This is Python 101. Python is an interpreted object-oriented high-level programming language with dynamic semantics, which can be used for software development, aka desktop applications, mathematical computations, and scientific research, system scripting, and you know the major reason why we are here for web development. So why Python, you will ask. Python works on different operating systems. Uh, be it Windows, Mac, Linux, or Raspberry Pi. Python has a simple and easy to read syntax, just like reading a script in English. Python gives you a free hand to either use procedural, functional, object-oriented style programming. We will dive into that, you know, much more later in the course of our development. Even though there are other versions of Python, our focus will largely be based on version 3, installing Python. Many PCs and Macs will have Python already installed you know, on them by default, but we're not going to take any chance. So I'm going to show you how you can install Python. First thing you need to do is head straight to python.org slash download. Uh, when you get there, you immediately you'll be presented with the executable file for you to that you will use to install Python. It's pretty straightforward. Click on it, download, and then install. Immediately you install Python on your system, the next thing to do is to verify your installation. How do you go ahead and do that? Open your terminal. In Windows, you can open command line. Uh, in Mac, just open terminal. Once you are there, type python dash dash version. And what this does is to give you um, your version, the version you are currently running on your operating system. And that is an evidence that Python is currently installed on your system. The next thing for us to do now is to set up our text editor to write Python code. And the editor we will be using in this tutorial for all our tutorial is going to be Visual Studio Code. If you don't currently have Visual Studio Code, head straight to the website which is code.visualstudio.com slash download to install the editor. Installation is pretty straightforward. So I have my Visual Studio Code open right now, and this is what you should see when you install Visual Studio Code for the first time. Next thing I want to do is to open up a project, which I don't have any project in, uh, you know, already designed. I just need to click open, and I'm gonna be focused on the desktop. You can put your project anywhere in your system. I'm just gonna focus on desktop and create a new folder. I can just have this called Python. You can call it anything so python will just do it well for me and once i have it open i can go ahead and create my first file i can call my first file hello.py py is the extension for python immediately i do that you can see that visual studio code pops something up for me telling me that do i need you know i need to have you know this um, extension that will make my life a whole lot easier so i want to go ahead and install the extension so i'll just click on install and we are being taken to this part where it's telling us to do all this needful the extension is installing by default i also want to install one more extension and that extension is called code runner so this for advanced use by the way but if you install python alone that would just be good but i just want to do a one step further so now i have two extensions installed and i have my hello.py the next thing i want to do is to write our first test code and that will just be print hello world so let's go ahead and run this code how do you run this code how do you execute this code on the top corner of your page you have a play there and that play is a way for you to run your code. Merely you hit play, your code will be executed on the bottom screen here. So we have hello world display on the bottom. So you could make changes to what you've done and then make sure that you save your file before you hit run again. If you do not save your file, that will not happen. But you can go to the advanced settings to make sure that anytime you hit run, your file should be saved. And how can you do that? You can do that by going to your settings. There's a settings on the bottom left corner of my screen here. I will go to settings. Then I will type code runner. So go code runner will expose you to a lot of um, settings which you can fiddle through. But I'm focused on a particular settings that allows me to save what I'm doing before my code gets run. So if you go through the through the options you will see that here 
save file before run so if i check this option what that means is that anytime i hit run my file will be saved first before the code is executed so if i have dot 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 and i hit run make sure that my code is saved and then i can run my program 